Good evening. This is the left, right and center and I'm Maria Shakil. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today sounded the poll bugle for the 2024 elections with a feisty speech in parliament. In his hour and 45 minutes long speech, the Prime Minister declared that his government will return for a third term, setting a target of 370 seats for the BJP and 400 plus seats for the NDA. Launching a scathing attack on the Congress, the Prime Minister said that the party only works for one parivar, while the BJP worked for the people in these 10 years. The speech also mocked the opposition alliance, calling it Bhanumati ka kumba, and blamed the Congress for the dismal state of the opposition. The Prime Minister also defended the actions of agencies, which the opposition regularly uses to attack the government. The Prime Minister said, that the agencies will keep acting against the corrupt and that those who have looted will have to pay. Let's listen in to some key excerpts from Prime Minister Modi's speech in Parliament today. Now, the third government is not far away from the third government. The more and more, और अब की बार पूरा देश कह रहा है अब की बार खरगे जी भी कह रहे हैं लेकिन अध्यक्ष जी मैं आम तौर पर ये आंकड़े आंकड़े के चक्कर में नहीं पड़ता हूं लेकिन मैं देख रहा हूं देश का मिजाज एनडीए को तो 400 पार कर पाई के रहेगा लेकिन भारतीय जनता पार्टी को 370 सीट अवश्य देगा बीजेपी को 370 सीट और एनडीए को 400 पार ये कांग्रेस की सुस्त रफ्तार कांग्रेस के सुस्त रफ्तार का कोई मुकाबला नहीं आदरणीय अध्यक्ष जी आदरणीय अध्यक्ष जी शहरी गरीबों के लिए हमने गरीबों के लिए 400 घर हमने गरीबों के लिए आदरणीय अध्यक्ष जी हमने गरीबों के लिए चार करोड़ घर बनाए और शहरी गरीबों के लिए 80 लाख पक्के मकान शहरी गरीबों के लिए बने कांग्रेस अगर कांग्रेस की रफ्तार से घर बने होते तो क्या हुआ होता मैं इसका हिसाब लगाता हूं अगर कांग्रेस की जो रफ्तार थी उस प्रकार से चला होता तो 100 साल लगते इतना काम करने में 100 साल लगते पांच पीढ़ियां गुजर जाती इनके समय में एजेंसियों का सिर्फ और सिर्फ राजनीतिक उपयोग के लिए उपयोग किया जाता था कांग्रेस के समय में ईडी ने 5000 करोड़ रुपए की संपत्ति जब्त की हमारे कार्यकाल में ईडी ने 1 लाख करोड़ रुपए की संपत्ति की देश का लूटा हुआ माल लेना ही पड़ेगा देश ने नोटों के ढेर देख देख करके चौंक गया है लेकिन अब सब जनता को आप मुरग नहीं बना सकते जनता देख रही है हमने लाखों करोड़ के घोटाले तो अटकाए लेकिन उन सारे पैसों को गरीबों के काम लगा दिया गरीबों के कल्याण के लिए जिसको जितना जुल्म मुझ पर करना है कर ले मेरी भ्रष्टाचार के खिलाफ लड़ाई चलती रहे कांग्रेस हिट बैक एट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेइंग ही डजंट हैव एनीथिंग न्यू टू से एंड इट्स टाइम फॉर प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू टेक रिस्पांसिबिलिटी आज बहुत थक गए लगे 
कुछ भी नई चीज नहीं सुनाई दिया जो भी उन्होंने कहा पहले कई बार कह चुके हैं परिवारवाद के बारे में कांग्रेस के खिलाफ और नामदार कामदार के भाषण नेहरू जी के देहांत होकर साठ साल हो गए और फिर भी उसी गीत गाते रहते हैं प्रधानमंत्री जी क्या हो गया बहुत थक गया था शायद ये सारी समस्याओं के लिए लगभग उन्होंने कांग्रेस को जिम्मेदार ठहराया देखिए ये तो कितने साल तक करेंगे आप कांग्रेस जा, जा चुके हैं दस साल आप सत्ते में हैं तो आप कोई भी जिम्मेदारी ले लीजिए Let me bring in my guests, Madhu Yakshi Gaur, spokesperson of the Congress. We have uh, Charu Pragya representing the BJP, Rashid Kidwai, senior journalist and author, Sanjay Singh, consulting editor at IANS, Sandeep Shastri, national coordinator, Lok Niti Network. Uh, Charu Pragya, let me begin with the criticism that's coming from the Congress. That ten uh, years in government and still concern is largely about what uh, Jawaharlal Nehru and Indira Gandhi did. Good evening Maria. I think Prime Minister Modi was absolutely on fire today. He spoke with facts, he gave statistics, he quoted and uh, his uh, whole speech was full of a lot of humor. I think uh, he's very right to say that is bar char super and Kharge ji also agrees with us as uh, PM Modi reminded us. His uh, speech actually had a lot for those who were listening. of course the congress does not bother to listen so they are not going to find anything new he gave us data which proves that when modi ji talks about a mission he sets for the country it that mission is achieved we reach our targets modi ki guarantee is important modi ki guarantee is going to take this election ahead and modi ki guarantee has proved true every promise we have made in our manifesto sooner or later is getting ticked off and the people of india are realizing this he speaks with a lot of pride not just about our past but he sets a road map and a vision for the future of this country next 1000 years he is talking about he is talking about how people are getting homes how many homes have got jal se nal 11 crore logo ko pani mila 4 crore logo ko gaon mein unke ghar mile 80 lakh logo ko shaharon mein unke ghar mile 55 crore logo ko ayushman yojana ka card mila 80 crore logo ko ration mila did the congress miss all this and all of this is while we are working to make our economy better and better every day with the fastest growing economy in the world and we are slated to become the third largest very soon modi 3.0 is going to be historical and india is going to claim its uh, prominent position on the global platform even uh, in a better way than it has Madhu. been till today okay, but Madhu. congress ki problem pata hai kya hai maria Haan. they are this kisyani billi kind of people they don't want to focus on the content which this speech had they will think that uh, because we say namdar and kamdar they can focus on that okay, and deflect so the attention madhu you actually got a specific point that the prime minister made that uh, the congress prime ministers of the past beat indira gandhi or jawaharlal nehru did not really have faith in the capabilities and capacities of indians why yeah maria do, we, do you want me to remind what was the country when we got independence what was the population what was the gdp what was the in total revenue of the country at that point who built the bakranangal projects toyam iits and all those defense projects which who launched during nehru ji's time i don't want to remind all those things what i would like to ask pradhan mantri ji is how did you where did you get his number they talk about number there something fishy about it number one secondly same our pradhan mantri from the red fort rampart he announced no, no, why are you saying that in the entire country no no madhu entire madhu country. here yes, is the yes, prime madhu. minister who is saying something that mr kharge also said apki baar 400 paar so he has confidence uh, has in his work just, so you know the, if anything the speech reflected a sense of confidence so why are you Kargeji calling it fishy just karge karge ji has just said it what is the rhetoric they do it and they get that number where the best of the best agencies and they were never able to predict those number how and how these guys are getting those number this is something fishy and which we all demanding about ballot paper voting system remove these cvms which they never agree for it now secondly maria hmm. all that boasting which prime minister is claiming same from the red fort he claimed that for few years ago that every school in the country toilets been provided today went to the school right outskirts of hyderabad and where i studied and jilla parsha school the headmaster says we are going to have some funds allocated sir we want a toilets for the girls and the boys in the school So what Mr. Modi ji's claims and what reality is? Okay. 
there's no okay. there's no so comparison let me bring in uh, and let me bring in rhetoric yeah okay. that one quick example so, i can you know, counter the bjp is and false. and and the congress reactions are on expected lines um as it was in parliament and outside as well so let me bring in the the experts sandeep shastri the prime minister in his entire speech has targeted only the congress party in the india block it could have been that you know the magnet of opposition unity which certainly the congress is not if anything it has become a weakling do you think that becomes an important part because they realize that by targeting the congress you actually uh, break the notion of any kind of unity of an india block or an opposition block maria uh, today's was a typical aggressive combative and rhetorical i will not say prime minister modi but mr modi the leader of the bjp yes. because this was a very clear first formal speech of the start of the 2024 campaign maria coming to your specific question i think there was a clear plan in making it a direct attack on the congress one of the most caustic attacks on the congress that i have seen that you launch only one product every time which fails uh, also remember by attacking the congress he was to a certain extent soft on the other opposition parties by saying that the congress has not allowed you the space that you legitimately need and this country wants a strong opposition so i think it was a very interesting combination of points that he made but of course the, the founder of the india block with him and he made a very powerful argument saying that uh, all this will show that you will remain where you are so i mm. think in that sense for me this was the leader of the bjp the one seeking a third term for the party and i think who's clearly on whose name the party is going to contest the elections which the prime minister himself said as part of his speech that the third term he says will see a modi guarantee so it's not today about the bjp government it's not today about the nda government it's about very clearly modi the, the man but but i would say also <laughs> sandeep shastri is similar <laughs> similar to 2014 when prime minister modi uh, and the bjp ran that campaign that ek ek vote on kamal will be about prime minister it will go to mr modi sanjay singh uh, you know interesting aspect while he has targeted uh, jawalal nehru and indira gandhi in the past as well this time he said that those leaders did not have faith in the abilities of indians so you know that is the connect i would say to the new generation that you have had prime ministers who doubted the abilities who who kept on talking about indians in the context of being lazy indians or 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 be little the uh, the people of india and here is someone who is saying that i have faith in your abilities go out there win the world because of what we have achieved in 10 years what more we can do in the next 5 years maria you are uh, absolutely right because if you look at it uh, india had gained independence and thereafter to say people out here are lazy people of india were actually very hard working given adverse circumstances that we are in and uh, also uh, the whole lot of other things which uh, are now floating on social media uh, for quite some time about nehru and about indira gandhi what did they said and what they did contrast that with 2014 when uh, prime minister uh, modi was elected as prime minister uh and he was designated as uh, uh, bjp's prime minister candidate and then uh, it was uh, felt that uh, the burden of expectation the kind of expectations modi raised would be too difficult to fulfill and what he comes out he says that uh, the expectation are legitimate the country needs to have expectation you need to have a dream and therefore uh, till such time people have expectation from the ruling class uh, uh, that won't otherwise materialize so it's good to have that kind of expectation second he talked about demographic dividend when we all were talking about uh, population boom and kind of uh, those kind of things so modi uh, even in earlier in the rcc when he launched his campaign 
if you remember, he said half glass, half full, half uh, empty. And therefore, he came out with a new narrative on that particular subject. So, and in the end, uh, making it uh, uh, about the uh, uh, regional pol political parties, you said, he, to my understanding, he made a clear attack. Uh, he left out others, but made a clear attack on Lalu Prasad Yadav, those who have been convicted of corruption and are out on parole, even they are being honored and uh, uh, given quite a prominent position. Uh, mild reference about West Bengal, about bags of currency notes. But all in all, I think when he is talking about third term, he is also looking at what he said in uh, perhaps uh, his first term, cooperative federalism. So that perhaps could be post poll scenario as it is Congress is weak. So therefore, he made a jive motor mechanic and uh, Rahul Gandhi going to uh, bullet repair shop. So that particular jive was also not uh, lost to people. And then uh, the Namdar versus now, Namdar we have heard in the past as well. But I'm going to come back. But Sanjay Singh, you know, Rashid, I have heard in the past the Prime Minister has made several references to the Gandhis, uh, you know, Indra Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru. But, you know, th this kind of statement which was made by Prime Minister Indra Gandhi, former Prime Minister, which of course would hurt the Indians at this particular juncture. You know, for her to say, it is our habit that when a good work is approaching completion, we become uh, complacent and when an obstacle comes, we lose hope. Some, sometimes it seems the whole nation has accepted defeat. I mean, to, to, to say that a nation is defeatist would mean that the youth of the country, which is a constituency that the BJP is reaching out to, they will also feel that there is a different kind of approach that the Prime Minister has had, Mr. Modi has had, vis-a-vis -vis his predecessors. Maria, uh, we must remember this Prime Minister's political speech uh, uh, to say that Nehru and Indira Gandhi, uh, you know, disregarded, you know, Indian efforts or uh, considered Indians as lazy and all is far from uh, truth. At their point of time, they won numerous elections uh, for, for instance, Prime Minister Nehru, three of us, three elections. No, but, and Indira but, Gandhi, but one these, of the most. These are the spe speeches that were made by them. It's in I the have, public I have read, domain. I have read. Yes, 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 Maria, I am aware of. When, when Prime Minister Nehru is 1959, when he's making a speech, what is he saying? He's saying, look at Europeans. At that time, Europeans were much, uh, I mean, purely in terms of, you know, if you look at the economic uh, index, they were doing much better. He was giving example of Soviets. He was trying to, you know, motivate Indians to, you know, uh, to compete with Europeans and Russians and others. So I don't see by any stretch of imagination. As I said, Prime Minister is entitled to make a, you know, political gain, a political pitch for his speech. But, uh, you know, we must remember these were the, you know, highly successful and very popular uh, Prime Ministers. Uh, Indira Gandhi is considered 20th century, not only in India, in the world history, she is considered one of the most uh, popular leaders. That's the thing. Mr. Modi is making a political speech and I agree, I concede this point that he is making a lot of impact because he is hai. See, hmm. when he speaks, you know, people listen to him and people are attentive. It is only those who are who have a loyalty, who have a sense of belonging with the BJP will automatically be attracted to it. But Maria, please remember, in 2019, 400, the BJP had contested on 437 Lok Sabha seats. This time, that Kunba, I won't say Banumati or any other, this thing, Kunba is increasing. You have, you know... Udav, uh, you, you, I mean, sorry, I have said Udav Thakare, but probably he would. Uh, you have Nitish Kumar, you have so many, uh, you know, the, the Shin, uh, Shinde group and so many parties are coming and joining. It will be very difficult for the BJP to do, you know, 370 or 400 power on its own strength simply because you, you know, you'll not be having so many seats to contest. So, so these are the dynamics. Huh. We must, just last thing, these are political rhetorics. Let's leave, let's not so start a, believing According to them. you, this was more rhetorical. That 370 oh, is being too ambitious, uh, Charu, and 400 is something, it. you know, it's, it's a great ambition to have to perhaps break Rajiv Gan late Rajiv Gandhi's record, but it's not achievable. Because of That's particularly, you know, 150 seats in the southern and eastern part of India, where you have not even opened your account in several states. So, Maria, we are a political party that has gone from having two seats in parliament to where we stand today. So, um, let's leave the seats of the South for the time being. I want to reply about how everybody is saying why this entire campaign is becoming about Modi ji. But...
a gentle reminder 2014 we said ab ki bar modi sarkar 2019 we said namo again if in 2024 we are again pitching our prime ministerial candidate forward with all our might and we are saying modi ki guarantee i don't think there's anything wrong with that and it's not just the bhajpayee you ridicule the word of guarantee propping itself. up their own leader like this because the congress is propping up someone who's a mere mp instead of propping up your national president uh, you are talking about uh, rahul gandhi as if he is the only crown prince who can make things happen and you see how he is making things happen he takes off on a yatra when he should have been on the drawing board today having discussions about the seat share as for how many seats we will win see i'll tell you why bjp is confident and merely confident not over confident number 1 as i said we are delivering on our manifesto promises number 2 we have a long term vision for our country a solid vision and we are working on that vision whether it is empowering the poor in the country empowering people who work with their hands the shramiks empowering yes, the startup you know, sector Charo, the alone. women going on while while but, you know while Maria. while now i'm going to be numbers. empowering I'm but i think it's also numbers. all right to uh, to actually appreciate and give credit for the contribution that has been made by mr modi's predecessors because the foundation for the 5 trillion dollar economy was laid up then it may have been expedited um, in his tenure no maria before but, modi but came there maria did something graciously india yeah. was Mo- nothing uh, maria As very graciously prime minister modi, modi has always given due credit in and india. appreciation all so mr modi i think she asked me a question Chara yes 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 so Char- charu finish your point then i bring in madhu yes yeah. prime minister modi has been the most gracious when it comes to giving credit for contributions to nation building it doesn't matter <coughs> uh, whom that uh, person was aligned to and what their political ideology was and he has been very fair where that is concerned now if today a person as senior as rashid ji says though but that is not what pm nehru uh, meant we have it on record sir you have the entire speech on record the youngsters of the country can listen to it i am sorry indians are not lazy indians had a situation prime minister today the prime minister today while of course replying uh, on the motion of thanks he quoted the finance minister then mr p chidambaram who presented the interim budget for 2014 2015 saying that the grand old party was proud of being the 11th largest economy in 2014 of course this has been a huge leap for india that's no denying but even having achieved 11th what not, was not that bad would you agree charu Yes, absolutely. But we could have done better, Maria. If only fifteen paise were not reaching the poor of the country and the whole one rupee went down, don't you think we would have done much better? If instead of uh, passing projects on paper and not making roads in the northeast had happened, don't you think we would have done better? If we were focused on uplifting every section of society instead of filling our own pockets, don't you think we would have done better? And what is wrong in stating that? Okay, so that was statement of facts, Madhu. Yeah, she got. Two things, to the yeah. Two things, Maria. Two things, Maria. They are using selectively the statement of Nehruji's and Indraji's. At what contest they use such word? Number one. Secondly, would like to remind Charu and her party what Vajpayee said about Indraji when she liberated Bangladesh. She thought ter- she respected as a Kali Mata. Thirdly, Prime Minister should have been concentrating and speaking like a Prime Minister. enlisting what he has done to the nation in the past 10 years while thanking the motion to thank to the president rather he spoken as a bjp leader using public exchequer public tax payers money using the platform of parliament i have 10 years in the parliament from manmohan singh just never spoken like this never made a political speech and he should have concentrated than rather than making a political speech and thirdly maria hmm. what is claiming demonetization prime minister said it will eradicate complete black money where are you getting this hundreds of crores are caught and is he himself claiming that 1 lakh crores been seized that he said demonetization eradicate stop corruption in Madhu, the country one moment where is he getting i want to understand from you because you know uh, the can congress I, is is part of the can india can i interject block. one moment i'm coming to you charu no. the larger yeah, concern ask, don't you think you yes. have that that this india block is almost like a non existent entity what is india what is this block well, does it really exist it, anymore of course it is there is a negotiations going if, if prime minister is so confident of winning 400 seats 
why did he break why did he bring in nitish again into the bjp block and one of the i think it's for the psychological said, blow BJP, it certainly yeah. has has given a body blow but, to the Maria, india Maria, block Maria, because quick, quick, let, you know let, the founder quick, is say, gone the bjp bjp minister one of major minister was claiming and justifying past 24 months nitish and rjd the most corrupt government if that is so nitish was chief minister why are you bringing the same corrupted chief minister into block if when they join the bjp nothing okay, no okay so will exists. that be an argument that the congress rjd can go to people with sandeep shastri and what kind of response are you foreseeing from the people in terms of uh, voters what will they their response be because you know the congress rjd will be saying this that nitish was supposedly corrupt when they he was with us now that he has jumped the ship he's all right he's clean uh, maria i think as the bjp goes into the campaign they are going to clearly focus on their leadership the modi factor would be something they would try to uh, make as their center point as a result of which most of these other things other factors the non bjp nda parties will also as they go into the campaign make the point that you are not voting for us but you are voting for one more seat for prime minister modi so i think the rhetoric and the campaign is going to be structured very clearly on those lines and again i go back to the point i made earlier maria the attack on the congress and soft peddling the other opposition parties except mamta and the rjd is a clear sign or a clear signal of the strategy that the bjp is adopting by saying that we want a strong opposition but then the congress is not allowing that strong opposition to come up so factors like the switching of parties i don't think will make a difference and it is it is what i have been saying on your channel the four ms the mahila vote the mazdoor's vote the, uh, the modi, modi vote and of course the modern india the today spoke about digital india unicorns and startups of bharat so i think this is going to be their focus how much does it work and does it result in that 370 or 405 is a different question but clearly as it stands today they seem to be setting the agenda of the 2024 campaign and and there was this attempt also to define what is dynasty politics which the bjp disagrees with and having same members of the family join sanjay singh do you think that there is a clarity of sorts because you know that has been the charge by the congress and other leaders in opposition that the bjp also has several family members i mean sons and daughters of its leaders uh, given uh, being given place of pride in the party so do you think Cong- the prime minister has attempted to respond to that charge as well that there is no dynasty per se in the bjp you have to unmute sanjay yes he was responding to that charge and he was also giving talking point to lakhs of millions of his workers uh, if at all some opponent and some rival political party makes this charge he can at least explain that uh, what does a dynasty means or dynastic politics means hmm. you are born the silver spoon inka beta hai to adhyakshi hoga ya mukhyamantri iske baad ka wahi hoga and so on so forth and therefore he made that line very clear and i think he has good uh, he has done a good job good thing for his followers for his sympathizers because this kind of talk will go on and on uh, there was a time when uh, kapil sibal used to say biggest parivarwad is in bjp because right. sab parivar kehte hain wo ha. sang parivar ko kehte hain to sab parivar ka hi hai ab this kind of logic cannot uh, bear fruit Hmm, hmm. Right. So, uh, so th- now that we are looking at a clear timeline of sorts, where the prime minister says uh, that in hundred to hundred and twenty-five days, Rashid, the prime, the, you know, it, it 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 was like a psychological warfare that was playing out in parliament as well. The prime minister telling the opposition in hundred to hundred twenty-five days, I'm going to come back and I'm going to be sitting here. So, what does it do to the opposition mind? Yes, sir. Uh- 
Maria, I think uh, the Prime Minister and the BJP continues to be a hot favourite for 2024. But then just on what Sanjay was saying, I think this whole formulation of Parivar Vaad is an afterthought. And this is a little problematic because we know, Maria, that if there is somebody who is a, who, a you know, son or daughter of a diner, they have a you know, advantage in electoral uh, era and even in party politics. Uh, and you look at even uh, people like, you know, whoever, they become first among equals, whether it is Kamal Nath's son or, you know, Tarun Gogoi's son at all. So it need not be the Congress has Malika Arjun Kharge as a Congress president, just as JP Nadda is a, is, a, is a BGP national president. What happens behind the scene is, you know, people know this. So I'm saying that this is not going to make a, a, a major difference. The problem with uh, India alliances to because they have not been able to stitch alliance. Mr. Rahul Gandhi should have been in Lok Sabha today. I mean, he's a member of the House. He should have responded. He should have led from the front if he fancies himself as an India alliance or Congress leader. So, opposition is divided and that's the thing. And just one last thing, Maria. See, why Prime Minister is not attacking, you know, regional parties and others? It's very simple. Half of them have been, you know, the BJP's past allies and half of them are potential allies. Mm. So, therefore, he's very comfortable with them. He only targets the Congress, which has a legacy, which has a, you know, lot of things that, that can be questioned and criticized. And that number, uh, this is a question to all the analysts, 370. Sandeep Shastri. Are you like a good student always sets his or her score <laughs> for exam very high. Yeah. And therefore, BJP is doing precisely that. And they have succeeded in making that a narrative. Yeah. So talk at least, about at least among the workers, it will be repeatedly talked about. But uh, uh, what there does is it... Maria, the ideal and there is the practical. Yeah. What is being talked about is the ideal hope. Maria, the... Yes. Uh, Madhu Yakshi God, Madhu, Madhu, my question to you is, uh, you know, to dismiss a uh, prime minister's number is, is the duty of the opposition. That's what you are doing. But the absence of Rahul Gandhi, how is that justified on, Im on an important day such as this? We have other leaders to speak or reply what his Prime Minister is talking about. Secondly, Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Yatra was decided much before then the uh, some parliament session begins. Thirdly, Maria, quick point here. Mr. Modi talks about moral high. How can he claim himself that he's going to come back and as a Prime Minister? Isn't the duty of the MPs of his party to elect? And he has denied tickets to Advani's to Murli Manan, Zoshi's to Sumitra Mahajan. Mahajanji, on the age factor, how come he claims himself, declares himself, he comes back as Prime Minister and he criticizes other political parties of power mongers and he sees that itself shows that how much is is all by himself, magnomaniac attitude and the dictatorship attitude, that's what he's been saying. It. If he's so high about, why he's saying 370, Maria? He wanted to zim what he has done on 370, he would like to appeal to the selective voters that he has finished the three, Article 370. Leading into that 370 number, Charu Pragya, I did not think about it, but that is the way Congress is reading. Would you respond to that, Charu? <laughs> well, uh, Congress is always uh, reading between the lines, but uh, you know, Modi ji was right when he said Bhanu Mati ne kunba joda, because it is not just Bhanu Mati ka kunba, they are together dekhoing Mungeri Lal ke Haseen sapne and pakawing Birbal ki khichdi. So, all of uh, the agendas and the myths that the Congress uh, continues to talk about is just that, a fairy tale. And uh, sir, you are uh, very confidently saying Rahul ji had planned this yatra. Tell me, I'm so new in politics. I'm so young. Rahul ji has been on the political scene so many times, launched 20 plus times. Does he not have the political acumen to understand at a time like this? He should be visiting his alliance partners, having discussions about that. He can take half a day friend, off from the yatra to be in parliament on friend. important days. See, he My sends a message listen. that he's unserious, you, you please, Maya. You, and he you sends this message to the people of the country, party. not to us. BJP Rahul, does not care. But this Rahul message is Congress loud and clear to the people of the advice. country. Why would people queue up behind a leader who's not serious about important days like this, who's not serious about seat chair discussions, who does important not know what day, is important or Charu, not? Let, Miss Charu, let me remind you. If it's important, Sir, I'm sorry, Prime Minister, you're feeling hurt he's a Prime by my Minister. statement, but isn't List. it the fact? Thank you, but we don't require your advice. Neither me, nor my party, nor Mr. Gandhi. Secondly, would like no, to I'm remind you, you advice, as a former sir. member. I'm not giving let you advice. I'm let, giving let, my let, opinion as let, asked let for me, by Maria. Let, and let I am me, saying that the people of the country miss, can please, see the difference I have, I have, between the approach of our Prime Minister and Rahul Gandhi. Have a, 
have a little patient patience to listen to me i wish you could be a, one of the days your party may nominate you to the parliament as a ex par, par, former parliamentarian i'm telling you the duty of the prime minister inside the house should and act and speak like a prime minister of the country not as a bjp leader i am totally disappointed as a citizen okay today his speech is just like any typical bjp leader rather than a prime minister is not this was this was prime like minister modi he spoke like a fucker politician he has given an election speech as perhaps we got a glimpse of what uh, 2024 battle would look like um, a quick word from all the experts uh, sanjay singh beginning with you uh, let's do a comparison between this one this speech and 2019 But a quick one with, 30 seconds uh, yeah for first two seconds significance of 370 should not be lost hmm. 370 uh, uh, come comes in various forms 370 repeal and 370 seats so 370 is going to be talked about hmm. 2014 when modi came in he was uh, he came in and as i said in the beginning 2014 let us compare this with 2019 when mulayam singh said सभी यहीं पे बैठे हैं बिकॉज दैट वाज द लास्ट सेशन एंड सभी जो जीत करके सभी सांसद जीत करके आए और मोदी जी आप दोबारा प्रधानमंत्री बनिए एंड देन देर वाज नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन एंड मोदी हैड सेड कि आई काइंड ऑफ आप यू कम अगेन विथ इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर विथ नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन कांग्रेस डिड कम विथ नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन काइंड ऑफ सेइंग ऑलमोस्ट काइंड ऑफ डूइंग जस्टिस वॉट प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हैड सेट मोदी weaves a charisma modi is uh, an orator par excellence hmm. he either on floor of parliament or a so, public so orator so who's really a match here if he has made it a presidential election rashid a potential yeah, a potential prime minister that we had thought about perhaps in the public narrative was nitish kumar in 2015 and after that yeah, he after that he vanished in thin air Yes, uh, Maria. I think uh, that the Hindi slogan goes. Uh, it looks like no, koi nahi hai takkar mein. It is for the B, uh, the India Alliance, the Congress, and opposition is to be blamed because they had a lot of time. I have, as compared to 2014, because there was a you know Prime Minister uh, Manmohan Singh was there. 2019 also this sense of despondency and this kind of uh, you know disjointed kind of campaign was not there. so most people including you know the congress sympathizers and supporters privately admit that to 24 to gaya ab 29 ko dekhenge and this itself i think is very you know it's a very telling commentary on opposition and the kind of democracy we are having so the opposition has stopped even planning for 2024 it's being seen as a done deal but let's talk about oh, the number and final words to you sandeep shastri Maria, sandeep shastri uh, 370 is it really far fetched uh, you see every ruling party or every party which hopes to come to power will pitch its uh, goals very high and that's what the bjp has done uh, but maria two quick points i think this is one of the most um, uh, well curated speeches from the perspective of a ruling party uh, what he said today would gladden the hearts of his supporters and give them wonderful talking points and we have not mentioned one point which he made today hmm. he said on the 75th republic Uh, year yes. the president got into parliament and was uh, uh, was honored coming into parliament which was like answering the criticism that the president was not invited for the inauguration of the new parliament building hmm. so i think this is a very well curated speech focusing on the bjp supporters and providing talking points to bjp supporters as the campaign goes forward and and also it uh... my assessment would also be that uh, the bjp is sending a message that they are not taking anything for granted they may be firmly in the poll position but they are continuing with their attack on the opposition as is the strategy as the same time dealing out to its newer voters and also sending a message to their captive audience that here are the reasons why you should look at them favorably yet again thank you so much for joining us uh, madhuyakshi god sandeep shastri charu pragya rashid kidwai and sanjay singh 